Hello students, I hope you all are well and uh, you are safe and you are taking care of yourself as well as your family uh, and you are following all the guidelines provided by the government of India. Be safe. So without much delay, uh, uh, we'll start with our unit. We were previously, we were uh, studying our unit 4 which uh, basically comprises of induction motor. So we'll start with that unit only. We'll continue with the uh, remaining part of that unit. We've already discussed many things uh, in that unit related to induction motor, many facts, many pro many principles, operating principles, construction details. We've already studied many things, but a uh, quick overview of all those things which we have already covered. So I'll be discussing all those things. Uh, we've already talked about uh, RMF, that is rotating magnetic field how an RMF is generated, what is the importance of that rotating magnetic field and then we have talked about uh, how an induced EMF is generated in an, in an induction machine and uh, what are the various principles involved for that generation and then we also uh, discussed what, what do you mean by synchronous speed, what do you mean by slip speed, what is the importance of that thing, how torque is being generated in, in an induction machine, so all these things We've already gone through, and I I hope you are, you are revising all the previous notes. So today we I'm making this uh, video lecture, uh, and we'll be continuing continuing with the remaining portion of this unit. But before going to that thing, uh, I'll I'll tell you th there are that basically this unit unit number four that is uh, uh, three phase induction machine. So this unit basically comprises of. Uh, this following five parts this module has five units and so number one is that what are the types of induction machine types and construction features of three-phase induction motor then number two is this principle of operation what is the principle of operation of an induction machine which we have already discussed but still we'll go we'll go one by one through all these things once again so that uh, you'll be able to correlate things and number three is development of equivalent circuit. Now this is very important. Development, development of equivalent circuit. This is very important. And then expression for electromagnetic torque. We'll do various derivations for uh, electromagnetic torque. Then we'll study torque slip characteristics. Depending on this derivation, we'll draw some what are the various torque slip characteristics and on what factors does it depend. So. Uh, before coming to this lecture, um, see what, what, what we have previously discussed is that I've told you that there are two major and very important common, common underlying principle of all rotating machines. When, what are those? First one is that in order to generate, in order to create a constant electromagnetic torque, the relative speed between the stator field and the rotor field should be zero. There should be no relative speed between the stator field and the rotating magnetic field and I mean the rotor field which means that the angle between the stator field and the rotor field should be constant. This is the very this is very important thing and we have, we have already discussed about this thing how to maintain that angle constant we have already, we have already seen and what what was the problem uh, for that that we uh, the problem which we were facing is that uh, since our stator was stationary and uh, when we provide when we were providing a supply so we told that a stationary thing a stationary coil will obviously provide a pulsating magnetic field okay or a stationary magnetic field but then the concern was that how to generate a rotating magnetic field from that stationary coil. This is the major main concern. And then we have discussed all these things that uh, when we have, we have seen that when a three phase three phase balanced supply is provided to a three phase balanced winding which is 120 degrees spatially displaced then we have seen that even a stationary coil will produce a rotating magnetic field. This we have already seen and this was means this this thing was proven by Nikola Tesla and this 
has this is the very this is very important benchmark for basically for uh, for studying induction machine this is very important he discovered that a stationary field can also generate a rotating magnetic field provided the condition should be that the field the winding should be three phase winding should be such that they should be 120 degree displaced with respect uh, spatially displaced and when we provide a three phase balanced uh, um, ac supply to that winding then uh, then a rotating magnetic field of constant magnitude and rotating with a synchronous speed will be produced this these things which we, uh, we have already seen but i'm just uh, quickly we are just quickly revising so that you will uh, come to know and you can connect with the further things so this was the case one condition was that for for all uh, rotating machine first condition the major condition was that that the relative speed between the stator magnetic field and the rotor magnetic field should be zero and the angle between them should be constant the second important thing is that the number of stator poles and the rotor poles should be equal so these are the two important conditions which we have seen for any rotating machine for any rotating for working of any rotating machine so in an induction machine now after that uh, we have seen i'll just go through it quickly that in an induction machine when we provide uh, uh, we have two parts a stator which is stationary and a rotor which is rotating so when we provide a three phase supply um, to the stator stator now now in an induction machine stator is carrying a three phase winding which is 120 degrees spatially displaced so when we when we are providing a three phase balanced supply to that three phase winding of the stator then a rotating magnetic field will be generated this rotating magnetic field will cut the stationary conductors of the rotor now due to the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction because of this cutting because of this linkage of the uh, rmf field it's a stator field with that of the stationary rotor conductors there will be a induced emf generated in the rotor conductors now when we short circuit the rotor bars then a current will start flowing in that hole and due to that current poles will be generated as we have already seen that uh, when a current carrying wire has some magnetic field around it a magnetic a magnet moving magnet is has some current so these phenomena is being all is uh, basically used in this thing so a current carrying rotor now it consists of now when, when the rotor starts carrying current now it will generate some poles north pole and south pole which will obviously uh, repulsion and attraction will happen between the stator poles and rotor poles and an electromagnetic torque will be generated this is how an induction motor works so when we supply the three phase supply when we provide the three phase uh, winding of the stator with the three phase supply then rmf is generated and due to this rmf an induced voltage is generated in the rotor conductor and when the rotor bars are short circuited a current will flow and that due to that current poles will be generated uh, on the rotor and hence an electromagnetic torque will be produced in an induction motor now we have also seen uh, about uh, slip speed now i'll not go into that detail again because you know, i'll uh, in fact i'll insist you to go to all those things slip speed and all that thing so that uh, we'll be doing all these things will be uh, you'll be able to understand much better so slip speed is nothing but uh, the speed um, suppose the rotor is rotating and we have already seen suppose the rotor is rotating at some nr speed uh, so rotor will always try to catch with the stator field um, with the stator so suppose the stator is synchronous speed uh, so stator is rotating with some synchronous speed so rotor speed will be slightly below that synchronous speed by, by the slip factor so uh, i'll not go into that thing so this is basically how i've uh, revised means we have revised how an induction motor works now uh, there is some slip s equals to ns minus nr divided by ns you can go through the previous notes also so now these are the various principles this this is basically the principle of operation now in now today uh, if you talk about this thing 
this is what are the types and constructional features of three phase induction motor so this thing so basically you can see that depending on the rotor structure rotor structure what is the structure of the rotor so depending on that rotor structure an induction motor is basically classified into two types one so you see uh, these types and all these um, regarding this i'll share you share the ppt and share the share the notes i've already sent you the pdf but then again i'll share the notes in the next lectures i'm just giving a brief overview of what we are uh, discussing in the next lecture so so depending on the rotor structure and induction motors are of two types one is cylindrical uh, rotor induction motor machine or you can case you can say tell that as a spherical cage induction motor another one is wound rotor induction motor or slip ring induction motor now what is the difference between these two what is the difference between the constructions we will we'll get into that uh, in our next lectures and uh, so i'll be discussing about the squirrel cage induction motor and uh, slip ring induction motor in our next lecture and then we'll be covering this point development of equivalent circuit today we'll stop at this thing only and i hope uh, you guys uh, understood this lecture and uh, i'll request you to, to go through our previous notes and kindly refer all those uh, things which we've already discussed what are the basic fundamental concept which i have already seen how what is the pole pitch um, how an rmf is being generated how the torque is being generated all those things kindly do refer them so you so so that you will be able to connect much better thank you thank you very much